Well, I hate to say it again. I told you gas would keep going up, and it has a new record, $4.37 a gallon today. Never in America has gas been this high, not in the Arab oil embargo of the 70s, not when Little Bush went after Saddam Hussein. Never, never has a gallon of gas, something most Americans use every single day, been this high. Get ready, folks. I've been doing oil for a really long time, and guess what? Gas is going higher, much, much higher. You see, I still have a few unencumbered brain cells functioning, not like that guy who last year said gas prices, the main feedstock to inflation, was transitory. This guy. Economists call all these things transitory effects, and they account for about 60 percent of the price increases we've seen over the last few months. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you say, sir, you're wrong. And that guy... Not sure who his advisors are, but that guy wasn't smart enough to stop there. He doubled down again last year when inflation was soaring at a whopping, ooh, 6.5 percent. It's 8.5 percent now. And I think you'll see it change uh, um, sooner than quicker, than more rapidly than it will take than most people think. <laughs> Six and a half percent then, eight and a half percent now. Fast forward a few months, and here we sit, gas breaking records. Diesel fuel exploding, not literally, but diesel fuel, $5.55 per gallon, and inflation is almost 50 percent higher than when Sleepy said it peaked. And that soundbite last year. Speaking of sleepy, tomorrow we'll get the latest reading on inflation. So the Biden administration decided to try to head off the negative news cycle by spinning his inflation crisis before the release of the big number tomorrow. To want to talk about fake news, folks, today was a big old hot steaming pile of bolt of fake news. So let's go, control room. Roll the first sot sound on tape. On blame. There are two leading causes of inflation we're seeing today. The first cause of inflation is a once in a century pandemic. And this year we have a second cause, a second cause, Mr. Putin's war in Ukraine. Yeah, that's BS. That's fake news, Biden. There's only one cause for inflation and it's gas, it's fuel prices. That's what's causing sky high inflation. It has nothing to do with Putin either has to do with our production. Speaking of oil production, what did you have to say about that, Mr. President? In fact, we produced more oil domestically in my first year in office than my predecessor did in his first year. I am so glad my producers kept that first two words, in fact, because it was anything but fact. In fact, Biden, you're lying. Because here's the real numbers. Your first year in office, you produced 11 million barrels of oil. Trump's first year in office increase Obama's first last year in office. And the reason why is because Obama drove the oil production into the ground. So Trump jumped up. Trump's last year in office was 12.7 million barrels of oil per day. You started at 11. You're up to 11.3. Far cry from 12.7 when Trump had oil and oil prices. Oil production up, prices down. Take a look at oil prices. Speaking of that, The fact is, the average cost of a barrel of oil has been steady for weeks. So uh, so why do gas prices keep going up so high? I love it. I love it. The fact is, he used that fact. You know what? You're right. Hey, you didn't lie about that. But you know what you did? The the average cost of a barrel of oil is steady. Yeah, it's steady. It's one hundred and five dollars a barrel. When Trump left, it was thirty dollars a barrel. Trump got it down to zero. Produce more oil, prices go down, gas prices go down, inflation goes down. This wasn't, look at, look at over the shoulder, lowering costs, tackling inflation. And your solution is to stop production on oil, which drives prices up for everything, including diesel. Take a listen to truckers. We haven't had enough truckers, for example, to deliver the lumber or other goods. That's why we are executing a plan to get more truckers on the job. It reduces the time it takes to move the goods quickly. Yeah. All right. Here's a problem with that. 
Mr. Biden, truckers, 72 percent of truckers are self-employed. That means it's their own business. And you know what you're doing to them by charging them five dollars and fifty five cents a gallon to drive a truck when they drive, drive literally hundreds of thousands of miles a year. You're driving their profit into the ground. Who wants to be a trucker when you're giving them less and less money, making it cost more and more? Skip meat producers control. Go past meat producers. Let's talk about this lie on taxes very quickly. Go taxes. Well, all of my plan is focused on lowering costs for the average family in America, to give them just a little bit of breathing room. Now, what's the congressional Republican plan? They don't want to solve inflation by lowering your costs. They want to solve it by raising your taxes and lowering your income. That is just BS. BS. Stop it. That's a complete lie. The Republican plan has been for decades lower taxes, not raise taxes. They didn't try. Trump lowered Bush lowered taxes. Trump lowered taxes. That is just absolute garbage. Washington Post even call that BS. I'm calling it fake news too. Very quickly, corporate taxes. Let's do it. And all this time, they're not even paying for a fair share of taxes in the first place. Fair you share. want to bring down inflation? Again. There it is. Let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay their fair share. No. Come on out of that. Come on out of that. Come on out of that. Here's what you're going to do. You want to raise you want to raise taxes on corporations right now? Are you out of your freaking mind? You know what happens when a corporation's taxes tax burden gets raised? What? They're not in this philanthropic philanthropically. They're in it to make money. So you raise their their tax burden. They're going to raise the price of the stuff they sell you. When you raise the prices of the stuff they sell, that's called inflation, price inflation. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a liar. One more thing. I can't, I, I, I got to do this. We talk about spending. He lied through his teeth on this one. I have to do it, folks. I got to hold you over, control room. Let's play the sound bite on. He cut the deficit. Listen to this. Under my plan, we're on track to cut the federal deficit by $1.5 trillion this year. That's in addition so last year, we cut the budget $350 billion. If we have that full screen, I hope we have it. Let's show the annual, annual budget deficit by year over the last few years. If you have it, throw it up there. I hope we have it because they didn't cut anything. Look at these budget deficits. They're exploding. There it is, 2021, $1.5 trillion. That's added to the national debt. The year before 2020, $4.2 trillion. I got it. COVID's in there. $1.2 trillion under Trump. $1.2 trillion. You didn't cut... Squat, Biden. You didn't cut squat, and you're not cutting anything. You want more proof? Here's more proof. If you're cutting the deficit, the debt should go down, right? You're not cutting it. You're slowing the, the rate of growth of the deficit. Look at the—look at the—there it is. There it is. There's your debt clock, national debt. If the de deficit was actually cut, that would be going the other direction. It's increasing. $30 trillion. You lies. You're all lies. You're full of it. You're done. I'm done listening to it. Every time you come on the show, every time you go and address the American people and lie, I'm going to call you out for it.